Hey, Ryota, you look super worn out as usual. That's such a horrible way to describe a person. My childhood friend, Kaori Takamatsu, was drinking next to me while I had my shoulders drooped. She had always been beautiful, and she was living a happy life, unlike me, an introvert since birth. She, she spends, spends time with me, only, only because, because I'm her childhood, childhood friend. friend. Or maybe, she's, she's just, just here to make, make fun, fun of me. me. But, she was the only one who would hang out with me like this. So, I valued her so much. Ryota, how's the work? It's okay. Did you get a girlfriend? Do you think I can make one? Haha, <laughs> good to know you haven't changed. Kaori laughed and I stared at her. What about you? Any boyfriend? Hmm, well, I'm doing alright in that department. Kaori smiled. That moment, I decided not to ask her about this anymore. I knew this was a losing game for me. She's, She's probably, probably having, having fun, fun with, with multiple, multiple guys. guys. I wonder what it's like to be as popular as you. Oh, I take that as a compliment. I guess you're used to taking sarcasms too. She didn't even flinch at what I said. I was slightly jealous of her. That being said... After that, we kept on having small talks. She, she always, always makes, makes fun, fun of me. me. But, but I enjoy being, being with her. I wondered about the future, where Kaori was getting married to someone else. Wait, Wait so, so if Kaori, Kaori gets, gets married, married, I don't think I have, have any other friends to hang out with. with. That's sad. That was why I seriously started to think about my own future marriage. Weeks later, the president called me to his office. Now, what can I do for you today? Ah, oh, please relax. It's not work related. Oh, what is it? I know you're great at your job, but I heard that you don't have a girlfriend at all. I might be crossing the line, but I set up a matchmaking meeting for you. Huh? She's the daughter of a company. I think you'll do better at work if you have someone you have to protect. I really want you to manage our branch in the future, so you should consider getting married. Oh, okay. I was confused. But I had to leave the office since the president told me that the talk was over. Wait, Wait so, so I'm going to a matchmaking meeting with, with the daughter, daughter of the A company's, company's president? president? I couldn't even keep up with the reality. The day of matchmaking came quickly. I went to a luxurious restaurant that I have never been before while being so nervous. Shizuku Sasaki, the daughter of the A company's president, was already inside. I'm sorry that I'm late. No, I was too early. Please don't worry about it. Shizuku-san gently smiled. She looked really kind. And as I expected, she was very gentle and pure. The tempo of the conversation was very similar to mine. I feel safe being with you, Shizuku-san. <laughs> Thank you. I feel relaxed when I'm with you too, Ryota-san. I really want to go out with you with a marriage in mind. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, of course. Shizuku-san looked like she was passive, but in fact, she was very aggressive at heart. Soon after the meeting, I was living with Shizuku-san. I, 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 I don't feel, feel like, like I'm, I'm at home. home. Shizuku-san was wandering around the house, wearing minimal clothing. Kaori was, was the only girl, girl who I spent time, time with, with. So, so I don't know what, what to do. do. I was completely rigged with nervousness. Shizuku-san laughed at me. <laughs> you are so cute. Being so nervous. I guess we can't take a bath together like this. She whispered into my ears, like she was making fun of me. My entire body felt like it was on fire. The next day, we were walking to the bus stop together. I wish if our bus went to the same destination so we could stay together longer. T true. Shizuku-san had her arm twisted around mine. Her body pushed against mine. I was embarrassed because we totally looked like a newly dating couple. That moment... Ryota? Kaori? I saw Kaori walking towards us from the crowd. Huh? What the hell is this? Wait, is this like a walk of shame? 
You had a person to do such thing with. What? What the hell are you talking about? This is... I was trying to explain, but Kadi seemed to have sucked into her own imagination. A beautiful girl like her can't be in a relationship with Ryota. So, Ryota paid her? Ryota? How much did you pay for her? If you wanted to spend a night with someone, you should tell me. Hey, wait, stop. Huh? What, what did, did she, she just say? say? Is, Is she, she saying, saying that, that she, she was, was willing, willing to spend a night, night with, with me? me? We both stared into each other. Our faces turned red at the same time. Hey, Ryota-san, who is this? Oh, oh, sorry. I was pulled back to the reality with Shizuku-san's voice, and I introduced her to Kaori. This is Kaori, my childhood friend. Kaori, this is my fiancé, Shizuku-san. She is the daughter of A Company's president. And I got to meet her because of my president. Huh? Did Pierre say? Kaori was staring at Shizuku-san in disbelief. She stopped panicking, but she was dead silent this time. To the point, it scared me. Pierre say? A beauty like her? And she's the president daughter? I... I don't have any chance against her. Huh? Hey, Kaori! Kaori looked like she was on the verge of tears. And she immediately ran away. What, what the, the hell, hell is wrong, wrong with her? her? She, she didn't, didn't even greet Shizuku-san. She's, She's so, so rude. rude. I thought so for a second, but Kaori's sad face was stuck inside my brain. Why, Why did, did she, she make, make such, such a, a face? face? Why? Since then, I couldn't stop thinking about Kaori for some reason. I kept thinking about her, even when I was at home. San? Ryota-san? Oh! Sorry, what was it? I looked up in a hurry to see Shizuku-san looking into my face, looking worried. You seem to space out a lot these days. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's because my work is really busy recently. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I quickly ran into the bedroom. I was wondering why I tried to run away from Shizuku-san. Why, why do, do I, I feel, feel this way? way? Why do I keep thinking about Kaori? More than Shizuku-san. That, that moment, moment I, realized I realized that I was subconsciously comparing Kaori to Shizuku-san. I was never nervous like this when I was with Kaori. I always had fun every day. I was always happy. I really want to see Kaori smile. That was when I realized my true feelings for Kaori. I like Kaori smile. I always like Kaori. I acknowledged my feelings as my mind was getting clear. The next day, I told everything to Shizuku-san. I asked her to call the engagement off. I'm sorry for being so selfish. I see. Shizuku-san tilted her brows in sadness as I apologized to her. Kaori-san is your childhood friend, right? Ah, I wish I was your childhood friend. But I guess I can't do anything about it. Kaori-san has spent more time with you than me. I'll give you up this time. Thank you. I'm really sorry. I bowed again, and Shizuku-san smiled at me, saying, I shouldn't worry too much. I went to work and explained everything to the president, too. Are you serious? You dumped that perfect girl? I can't leave our branch to you anymore. Yes, I'm sorry, but I cannot lie to myself. And Kaori, the girl who I love, has always been on my side. Even if I was being all sulky, she was always with me, supporting with me. I hurt her because it took so long for me to realize this. But I want to support her instead from now on. That's my wish. Yana Gita-kun. The president was staring at me in awe, and I realized what I had done. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice like that. No, your passion got me. You are a guy who could choose what you truly value over money or authority. Yana Gira kun you are a great employee who I can trust. Please keep working hard for our company. Yeah, yes sir. The president seemed to have understood me. Now, I have to tell Kaori too. I, I couldn't could imagine, imagine what was going, going to happen, happen. But, but I, I want, want to, to tell Kaori about, about my, my feelings. feelings. I 
sent her a message saying I wanted to see her that night. What do you need from me? When I was waiting for Cody at a park, Cody came, but her expression was very stiff. I ran towards her and stood in front of her. I have something important to tell you. What now? You have a beautiful and rich fiancé. I don't think have anything to tell me anymore. She looked away and said, looking all grumpy. I grabbed her shoulders to turn her around again and told her, I canceled the engagement. Huh? You, you canceled it? Yeah, I broke up with Shizuku-san. But why? Kaori started panicking after taking all the information in. You'd be able to meet a beautiful girl like her again. You could've gotten all the prestige by marrying her. What the hell are you doing? I don't need money or authority. Even if I had nothing, I wanted to be with you. Ryota? Kaori looked at me surprised. You were the only one who I could be with while being myself. You were the only one who made me feel truly happy every day. I went to the matchmaking meeting because I was worried about being alone when you got married. But I thought that way because I liked you. I know that now. You are joking me. I'm not. I like you. You're the only one I love. I declared so at the top of my lungs and Kaori started to cry. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, Ryota. I was about to cry seeing her tears. Kaori, please go out with me. Of course. Please take care of me. Kaori smiled as she cried. She was more beautiful than any gems that existed on this earth.